Can you see my fatty, 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 fatty? Look at this, guys. Oh, and then it has an app to it, you know? I got a, what is this called, honey? Patch. A, a yeah, patch just like a, that a glucose sticks inside sensor. your, that a sour takes patch. your glucose, <laughs> sour you know, patch. you know, your, you sour patch. your sugars. Um, a sugar patch. Mm -hmm. How much was it right now when it said? I don't say it now. Huh. They didn't tell me. Like it's because we went to. Hi guys. Bye guys. Hi. Bye we guys. went to take Jesse to get blood work. We went yesterday, but we were late, like twenty minutes, ten minutes. Santo para. And and we were, I guess, out of range, away from the house, so I didn't take the sugar. They call me sugar milk. Sugar milk, sugar lips. No, just kidding. This is my fourth. Uh, mukbang while on COVID. Every day gets better, maybe we could say. Right now, I feel uh, super stuffy. Yesterday, I kept coughing and coughing. Coughing and donuts. Coughing and donuts. Este, and today, guys, um, Julia bought us Jack in the Box. We didn't expect it because she's got a lot of bills right now. So, oh, Jesse. But Jesse bought us. So Jesse kept on like, oh, can I have breakfast? <laughs> yeah, because I kind of hungry. And that guy does not leave the house without eating. He's a very good morning eater. Well, he doesn't eat a lot, but pero he does not like to leave the house without having breakfast. Nor do I like my kids to leave the house without having something in their stomach. What is that? Guys, I'm <clears throat> sorry I'm sick, so I sound kind of even yeah. lower probably by voice. Um, I got some shout-outs here. Shout-outs and some comments that I need to, that I wanted to address. Because some people commented, commented on my on my mukbang videos. And I'm sorry, I haven't even gone, I hadn't even gone in there to see if anybody you know comment it i just feel like they're not gonna say nothing to me you know what i mean but i really appreciate the ones that do um first of all we got a shout out to alfred text testes alfred <laughs> i miss you but it's something personal but um yes i miss you too and i'm glad that you see my videos and my foot is almost healed but i'm still in a wheelchair but i miss you sweetie all right and then we have uh Zina Villegas. Zina Villegas. I don't know how far along any of these comments were. My daughter's the one that wrote them down for me. Oh, that she was laughing because um, I always put everything in my bra, and it's true. Oh my God, it's my washing. No lie, I have my car key in here because when I come in, I have it in my boot. And if I don't put it on the little gold dish that we have there, I take it with me in the bathroom first and I go put it next to the white piece and the, on top of the sink. And then I'll be like, just see here, go put this in the gold dish. You see, no, I'll probably have it there all day till I'll take off my bra. And she said that uh, one time when I was, uh, when I had my nails done, uh, when they fall, because I can't find like the perfect glue to make them stick. You know, uh, my my daughter Julia, she's not a professional nail nail uh, nail tech, but but she pretty much learned how to do it pretty good. Al último. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> but she hasn't done them for me in over a month. Uh, right now, we're waiting on a new uh, nail dryer. You know, that one. Can you use computer? No, that I used to complain about Walmart. I haven't been complaining anymore. Guys, I don't own the rights to anything you hear in the background or music that you hear or that I may sing to you because I'm nuts and I sing all day. Okay, let's go on to the next one. So thank you, Zina Villegas. And I'm sorry. I hope I didn't offend you with my boop thing. Um, I think it's because she was laughing. I think. Because I always put everything in there and... Uh, if I lose a nail while I'm out and about, I, I stick it in here. I don't have a, I don't carry a purse. Never, so I stick it in here. This is where I stick my money, my IDs, whatever. That way I don't know. But thank you, Zina. Love you, Mija. 
Okay. And then now the... Okay, the other one was Zina Villegas. This is Nelda Villa. Shout out to you. And she had said, if I can speak louder, I'm going to try. Right now, because I'm sick, I probably can't too, too loud, be too, too loud. But I will up to, you know, my daughter was telling me, Mom, we need to invest in a microphone. Yeah, we do, but it's good. I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> I don't mean to be gross. I swear to God. Um... I will. As soon as possible, uh, we will get a better microphone. I want those ones that go right here so I can go, uh, 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 Yeah, so it could be silly. You know how silly I am. Okay, and then Terry Mary. Thank you for your comment, and God bless you. And bless the Terry Mary. Terry Mary, Terry Mary, shout out to you. You, you you also said God bless you to me and I take your blessings and I return them to you. Mason Morris. I, oh, Mason Morris, you said that you love Whataburger. I love Whataburger. That's my favorite hamburger in the whole world. Um, And also because you said you called me beautiful. Whee! Whee! Thank you. Okay, and then down home eating with with canoes with with canvas down home eating with canvas thank you for your comment and i will try it this was the perfect time for me to try that fish sandwich because i don't have taste buds right now <laughs> very much and i'm not too into fish but i would have tried it for you like right now that i'm with the covid you know and and stuff and uh <laughs> i am going to try those mustards that you were telling me about we wrote them down right here thank you very much Thank you for writing and commenting for me. Also to Susie, <coughs> Susie Uyoa, Uyoa Uloa. I'm not sure about your last name, mija. But uh, she said that without my wigs, I look like Paquita La El Barrio. And uh, I have my, my cousins have told me that, that uh, when Paquita La El Barrio came out, my mom had already passed away, but they said that my mom looked like her too. They reminded her of Paquita La El Barrio. I was like, wait a minute, is she saying it in a mean way or something? And then she said, oh, no, mom, she put a little heart. And I said, okay, heart means good. And because I don't think she's an ugly woman. And I love her singing. Okay, and then GQ. GQ. H N N N Y Y. JQ, I'm sorry, JQ, honey. It's like JQ, honey. I'm sorry for the word that I said. And I didn't mean to offend you or anybody. I have to tell you something, though. Around these parts where I live, down here in El Paso, uh, and in a lot of parts, uh, when you say the N-word, you don't mean it to offend an uh, uh, Afro-American person. We say, we say it amongst each other. So I'm not talking about me and my family. You know, friends, friends, friends around and stuff. And I've always heard it all my life. Hey, what up? You know, but I will try to stop saying it. I'm not trying to offend anybody here or or be mean with anybody. Okay, I do apologize to you, though. J Q H N N Y Y. Sorry about that. Okay, um, but no, I'm browns and blacks, the buddies. Okay. And what else? And that's about it that I can think of. Other people that had said to me mm, that they miss me, that they miss talking to me. I think they used to probably talk to me on Facebook or at least under the comments because I've never added uh, people from foreign country. Um, I had one, one Pakistani friend for about a year. But then one day he said, and, and this is the truth. Uh, what was your name? Sai? No, I don't remember his name. He was cool, and I even asked him, hey, do we know why do you guys wear the turban, the towel on your head? And he said that in their religion or in their uh, culture, a man has to hide his hair. I don't know why, but. 
But he told me that they let it go. And I told him, oh, my God, would you let me see your hair? How long is it? And he did let me see it. So it looks like this, and it's all like a giant, um, ¿Cómo se llaman esos, mami? Los big cornrows? Not coral. Mm -hmm. Pants? No, not pants. Mm -hmm. Afro? Mm -hmm. No. Uh, dreadlocks? Dreadlocks? Dreadlocks. Right? It looked like a big giant dreadlock. Um, I don't think, not trying to offend anybody again, I don't think it's, it, it, it did look washed. It did, I, I think that they don't wash their hair over there. Just like um, in some countries over there in, in the Middle East, um, the women, you know, of course, cover themselves big time. They just let their eyes show. Mm. And then they cover themselves, you know, from head to toe. And this is because in their culture, and they, I respect it, uh, they don't, uh, you're not allowed to show your body if you're a woman. You know, you're not allowed to show your hair. Oh, you know, nothing because you don't want to create some kind of temptation que otro hombre te desee for another man to to maybe lust for you because you're already married. It's like a sin to them. And I respect. They look beautiful, though. But let me tell you, some of these women that cover themselves, Muslims, I've met some Muslim women. They're the most beautiful women. They're beautiful, white, white skin, and they have blue, blue, gray, green eyes. Oh, my God. I've seen a lot of them. They're freaking beautiful. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Alfred. Um, so I saw something that kind of got me a little nervous, and that's probably why I... Sorry. I'm sorry, Alfred. But I miss you, too, and, and you're a good person, and, and God bless you, and... And thanks for watching my videos and thanks for your comment. And I need to get over this scaredness that I have, honey. You know? And I have to learn that, you know, I have to respect all types of persons and their beliefs and their likes and their wants and their religions and their sexual preferences and everything. When I was younger, let me tell you a story. This is a... Is this one green chili too? She got me a bacon cheese double patty. It looks like a double patty. Is it a double patty? No, it's a single patty, but it's thick. Wow, check in the box. And it has bacon, and I think it's got the green chili. Mmm. I can't taste fully 100%, guys. Because of my COVID. But as soon as I went like that, this charbroiled charbroil patty taste came in with the chili. It's ready right here. Mmm. Remind me of Burger King. I like Burger King. I like the charbroil. You know, guys. I lived on the west side of town in El Paso, Texas for, it was probably my 25th year here maybe, but I grew up in Central. And I had the charcoal burger, charcoaler burger, right around the corner from my house. And I maybe went twice. And now that I'm over here farther, I'm craving it. Once I get over all this shit. You don't ever truly appreciate the taste of food until you lose your taste. I can barely taste it. And I feel so sad because I never took the time to say, wow, you know, I'm a big lover of food. Food, of course. I was I was a, a very big woman, woman before. I was over 300 pounds. I think my max was 325. Right now I'm about... But I had already gone down to 172. That was my lowest. Um, so I did lose a good, a good about 150. I lost 130, and then after I lost it by myself, okay, I didn't 
do no gastric bypass or nothing. No, no, no. I would have been scared to, to be honest. Um, but I lost it like this. I did use something, but not that. But I, I uh, I'm not allowed to say it here because of you know YouTube privacy laws. Uh, but whatever I used brought me down like this. One, sometimes two pounds daily. Boom, boom, boom by themselves. Eating whatever I wanted to. Okay, good. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to pull the chair in. Um, I used to sell that product, in fact, myself. And I gave it free to one person, to a friend of mine from church. Because he was, he's, he's chubby. And he was trying to fuck with his health. And I gave it to him. One day, this is the truth, okay? I know I'm crazy and everything that you say, but God does speak to me. And God can speak to you too, if you learn how to listen to him. It's, it's more like, you know, that little devil and angel and then the little voice, the your conscience when you're doing something bad and it tells you, don't do it. It's, it's kind of like that when God speaks to you. It's like if you hear a voice, like if somebody was telling you something in your ear and you're like, what the hell? Verdad? But when you say, why is my mind saying this if I didn't say it, you know, or I didn't think about it or whatever, and it says it again, it sometimes has to say it a, a few times to, to you get the, the hint that it's God talking to you. But that's when it's God stopping you. Um, and he'll usually tell you something when you're doing something wrong, or he wants you to do something for your own good, for your own good. <laughs> Like, um, okay, for instance, him, my friend, um, he had been going in the hospital lately for the last couple of years, and then he found this really good woman. Shout out to Sonia, to my friend, to my wera Sonia. Uh, she he met her, and his life changed. And he was becoming a better person and he was in love and he was happy and she too, she too, and they still are. <laughs> Stupid, you fell, huh? No, she just <laughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, it's just, I'm talking, and it sounded like Sam fell upstairs, like if she tripped the chicken, oh, 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 Yep. Sorry guys, I'm not trying to gross you up. Pinch myself. Es que tengo mucho, mucho congestion. But I get very embarrassed when I... No, 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 no. Don't touch nothing. My mirror, the mirror. Don't touch The mirror. You eat my meat. You eat my meat. Hold on, I'll give it to you because she wants this and if she pulls it... I was gonna pull it. I was no, gonna just pull it. I saw your little hand. Come on. Uh. My daughter has sausage fingers. <laughs> she has the cutest little fingers like this, like about this size. And they're fat. They look like the nanita, like a midget. No, no, no offense to anybody. There is actually a, a short person in her family. Well, he already died. But she did have a. And then when she was born, her grandma. Um, there's his side. Um, had said that they thought she was gonna be a, a short person, a midget, because of her little hands. <laughs> Take my little hand. No, never. My dreams. But anyways, she uh, she has little chubby fingers, and they look. Like, her uncle told her that she looked like sausage fingers. Mm. So that made me laugh. I see what she <clears throat> Okay. I'm sorry that I coughed like that. I, I get embarrassed. I'm sorry. I apologize. And I, I hope I don't gross nobody out or nothing. I have that awful, awful type of cough since I was little. 
that sounds like a dog, like a choking dog, and at the same time, like a what animal makes that noise that that uh, Madita used to make? Oh, is it a goose? Like a goose, like a duck. Duck, duck, doo, 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 doo. Brass monkey. Eh? Is she snoring? Stupid Julia where it has the dog. Like this, but a bear. And then she's rocking her like a baby, like this. The dog is looking to snow in the pastor. Ay, so 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 no, la vas a despertar. No, no le hables, mi hija de cana, que está dormida. She's crying too. Anyways, <clears throat> that noise that sounds like, <gasps> you know, really loud. And that bird that mm -hmm. does that, a swan, I don't know Oy. what the fuck. Miss Swan, shout out to Miss Swan. Miss Sal, Miss Swan is uh, my friend. Shout out to you. You look like like a man. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's from a, a, a very old show, Saturday Night Live. Miss no, Swan. Mad TV. Was it from Mad TV? I'm sorry, Mad TV. Miss Swan was for you guys. Hi right, guys, I'm sorry. All of you people that that uh, all of you in the OG Chula gang, gang, gang. Was it the first song that left you? Uh, like all of my gente, thank you very much for your for your good comments and for your nice. Um, even if you have something to tell me that I'm doing wrong or that I am offending you, let me know. And as soon as I get to see it, I will publicly publicly apologize or public publicly thank you. Okay. It's getting hot in here. I'm hot as a motherfucker. Sorry guys. I couldn't stand that wig no more. Woo Shout out to Ama Pelonas. I only have three hairs. I had a and the one you had a put it the other day Julie was having to me Mom your hair looks longer and they said, and thicker, huh? And I said, it's the clove. Guys, try the clove. If you are losing hair or your hair is thinning out or your hair doesn't grow as mine doesn't, doesn't, you get un chingo de pinche clove, clavo de olor, pinches clavitos. Put them in the olla, put them in a little pot, a cup or two, whatever you want, but just bring it to a boil. Y pa que amarre. Once it goes up, freaking reboil it again. Fuck it, they say, fuck it, putos. Reboil it again, and once it's done, you know, you just put it in your in your little pump, in your in, buy yourself a in your spritz, spritzy pump. Yeah, put it in your cola, stupid. Ay, Samantha always wants everything in the cola. I I don't know. Doesn't she always say cola, guys? She always says she has not shouted out titties, but I will. Ooh, titties. Buddha stages. Oh, somebody else in the comments said something about Titanic. And she was laughing because she says, she says, oh, it was the day we were watching Titanic. And I said, yeah, yeah, you're right. We were watching Titanic one of these times. Like right now we're watching a Korean movie again, as always. But I don't know if he meant Titanic because of this, because it's Spanish. Um, Big breasted woman, they call them Titanics. I don't mind. No, why would I lie? Oh my God, this, my daughter is so nuts. She thinks everything I say is a lie. Ah, Samantha. Remember what Bambi's mother said to Bambi. If you're not going to say anything nice, don't say anything at all. But that's not. It's me. Ask somebody. Ask somebody. Uh, next time I get a comment like that, I'll, 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 I'll screenshot and send it to you. She's like, she was like, it's not true. Nobody calls you Jenny Rivera. Why the fuck do I have to lie? You know? It's an honor for me when somebody does tell me, oh my God, you look like Jenny. Of course, when I'm made up. Not, not right now. Not without makeup. Oh, no. No, I, I'm a very ugly woman. That's the truth. Imagine me without makeup, without nothing, and then without eyebrows. I really am ugly, and I admit it. I never said I was beautiful. But a lot of, a lot of people have told me 
throughout my life or when I'm out and about or in my Facebook or in groups that I'm in. Se parece a Jenny Rivera, te parece a Jenny Rivera. And I do have pictures that I've taken because I love Jenny Rivera. I still do. And I still say she's a rat. Still a rat. Um, I have pictures that I've done because uh, you know how I love to wear wigs, as you all know. I'm Belona. Um, she had pictures taken and some videos where she wears caps, right? And then this is like this. And I found, I don't know where, maybe on Wish or Amazon or somewhere, a black cap that had the, the you know, the hairs, well, glued to there, obviously, there. Yeah? So when I would put it on and do my makeup a little bit like her, it kind of like, I think I resemble her sometimes when I wear certain makeup in a certain way that I dress or whatever, or my makeup or my hair. And that feels good to me because to me, she was one of the most beautiful women in the world. To me. Also her body. Oh, they guess, motherfucker. Um... So I did find out later, later, later on that she did have a booty job, that she didn't have no booty before. But still, you know, shit, I don't have too much of a booty either. And if I could, and I'm already 53, if I could, if I had feria to, to get a fucking Brazilian butt lift, you better believe I'd do it. If I wasn't all freaking, you know, the way I am with my back hurting and shit, I'll tell you something. And it's the God and it's truth. I think that I would there be a stripper or maybe I shouldn't say that well, that's too late for me if when I was younger should I say if I wasn't a big woman if I would have been thin and looked beautiful I would have I would have been a stripper I really would have I've told you guys before I love dancing I love the men's attention and we, who doesn't love money who don't need money right now if you want to make it rain um, men only follow me because of my boobs, because of my tectonics. Este, is it not my beautiful face? It's not my beautiful body. A lot of men tell me on Facebook, is it your body, your body? Dude, I'm fucking fat. I'm not thick. I'm fat, fat. I'm not thick. I need to lose weight. And then I gained 20 pounds, 22 pounds. Right now that I have this foot thing because I'm by doctor's orders only supposed to be in bed with my foot up in the air and uh, not supposed to step on it, you know, it's uh, got to stay off it. So I only go out when I have my doctor's appointments, but, but, um, and that's from laying down and just getting up to come and eat and then go to a restaurant and come and eat. And then the days that I do have appointments, well, like we try not to go out right now because of the COVID, but we had to our way and we're, we covered ourselves and we have our sanita sanitation spray. Sanitation spray, that's how you say. Sanitary spray in the car and everything. I have it all over everywhere I go. I have my, my little bottles of ps, 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 you know, because this is supposed to be lens cleaner, but I filled it with sanitation spray. And then I have another one that's lens, lens cleaner is not yellow. This one has like, uh, I don't know whatever it has from the sun. Sanitation. Well, I'm not going to lie if I tell you that we, as we go around wearing gloves, we don't. I'm not going to lie. Ooh. Speaking of that, guys, and then my kids tell me because I don't like to watch the news because I get all stupid and <clears throat> look at it. And I'm hungry and I still can't finish this. Two bites. And it's because I start coughing. <clears throat> what are they playing? Spin the ball? Yeah. Oh, wow. They play Spin the Ball in Korea. Is this a movie, Julia? Or is it that show you've been watching? No, it's a show she's watching. It's like a novella, like a soap opera, but in Korea. And how nice. Huh? I tell you guys, the other day, just yesterday, the day before, Julia. Try to uh, download the app for this Korean channel that has movies. But the movie that we wanted to watch. She said, I think my lip is bleeding. I think my lip is bleeding. Girls, they have to kiss each other and her lip is bleeding. Uh. Anyways. Well, 
Guys, if you like spicy food, it is very good. Try the Jack in the Box green chili bacon and cheese. Okay. I don't know, but uh, I always loved uh, curly fries from there and from Arby's. But lately, I don't know when you buy them at Arby's. Order the bronco berry sauce down. Can I have two packets of bronco berry sauce? Put in your sandwich. Dip your curly fries or your fries in, in the bronco berry. Oh my god, bronco berry is the bomb. Where's the sauce, lady? Hold on. Down home eating with cam canvas. Um, I'm sorry, I don't want to offend you if you're a woman or a man, whatever you, uh, but, um, if you have a jack in the box, uh, Arby's in your city, in your town, um, try the bronco berry sauce, because you're into sauces like me, but you're into more like the mustard, even that, I, I like mustard, but I, I didn't, I stopped liking it for a long time, when I was little, I used to have, like, my sandwiches with mayonnaise and mustard. The only way. I might mukbang is later on today because I yesterday I made a chicken salad and I mukbanged on my chicken salad, but also made some really yummy refried beans. I might make a, a another upload another mukbang later on tonight of uh, some bean and cheese burritos that are bomb as fuck. All right, guys, thank you everybody for your shout for your shout for your comments. And thank you for subscribing to my channel. And, and don't be, um, if you need to tell me something that's maybe a little too, more personal, go onto my Facebook and DM me there. And then just say, I'm coming from the YouTube channel. And then I can, uh, oh my God, the bottles only bites. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. God bless you guys. I love you very much. Bye.